father investigating strange noises in the attic comes face to face with a nightmare intruder. When one Inglewood, Florida family heard odd sounds coming from their attic, they initially assumed it was the water running through their pipes. After several years, however, they began to suspect something else. So homeowner Bob Vanderherken decided to do some investigating. Bob hoped he wasn't going to stumble upon some kind of infestation. He knew people who had dealt with the headaches of rat's nests before and he was well aware of the nightmare and pest control bills that came with them. Bob and his wife Linda kept their fingers crossed that the unusual noises weren't rats as they headed up to their attic. Little did they know the problem was much bigger than they thought. As much as the Vanderherken family hoped they wouldn't find a mass of insects or rodents, they knew the odds were high that they would. Bob was in the pest removal business, though he only dealt with removing and relocating honeybees. Unfortunately, the sound that this family heard weren't bees. Bob's son Adam lived directly below the attic and he was one of the first family members to realize something fishy was happening in the room above. The utility room above Adam's bedroom was the first place the family checked. They slowly opened the upstairs door and the first thing they saw was a massive tunnel carved into their fiberglass insulation. What the heck could have created that? As Adam, Bob and Linda all stared into the mysterious gap in the insulation, Adam suddenly spotted what was causing the sounds. That was when the family completely freaked out. It was an enormous snake. The entire family was horrified to see part of the body of the scaly monstrosity that was making a home for itself in their attic. How did a snake get into their attic and just how were they supposed to remove it? Bob immediately called Sarasota Animal Control, a local company that specializes in the removal of large animals and infestations. He hoped they'd have the tools and experience required to help. Two animal control officers arrived at the Vanderherken home armed with catch poles. Bob gave them a thorough description of the scaly squatter. They scoured every inch of the house to find it. The officers then told the Vanderherkens the worst news possible. It was a diamondback rattlesnake and it was incredibly poisonous. One face-to-face -face interaction with it could easily result in death. Unfortunately, the snake had retreated deep into the walls of the home by the time the workers arrived and they couldn't seem to locate it anywhere. The family would need to try another option. Luckily, a family friend knew a man named Mark Lampert who specializes in handling dangerous animals. He had experience with sharks, snakes, and other wildlife and they hoped he would be the right man for the job. As it turned out, Mark was the man for the job. As soon as he arrived on the Vanderherken's property, he knew exactly where to start his search. He began investigating the gutters and almost immediately found a piece of snakeskin nearly two feet long. After several hours, Mark finally located the snake in the ceiling. The easy part was done, but removing the creature was going to be difficult. Mark spent several minutes carefully breaking away part of the insulation, then he reached in. Mark finally got his hands on the snake. Luckily, it wasn't a diamondback rattlesnake at all, but rather an enormous Colombian red-tailed boa constrictor. This snake wasn't poisonous, but it was large and strong. If mishandled, it was still deadly. In one quick motion, Mark yanked the snake out of the ceiling and quickly positioned himself so the reptile couldn't do any damage. The snake was enormous, but fortunately, Mark remained calm throughout the entire process. Bob, Linda, and Adam couldn't believe their eyes. Mark was standing in their front yard holding the biggest snake they'd ever seen. So how exactly did the reptile find its way into their attic in the first place? Mark explained that boa constrictors are skilled tree climbers and this particular snake must have climbed a tree in the Vanderherken's backyard and entered the home through their roof. Finally, Mark safely removed the snake from their property. It was an ordeal the Vanderherken family would always remember and definitely hoped would never happen to them again. Imagine finding an enormous boa constrictor in your attic. The Vanderherkens were lucky they called Mark for the job.